वेलकम टू अनिश शो यू एंड यू आर वाचिंग हाउ टू क्रिएट अ कॉम्पैक्ट टाइल शेप इन स्टारफील्ड सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ शेप कंसिस्ट मेनली ऑफ टाइल्स कंपोनेंट लाइक टाइल्स हब्स एंड लैंडिंग गियर्स एंड कॉकपिट एंड ऑल दैट ब्रिज और मोस्टली टाइल्स पर and uh, obviously there is different part which we are going to use like these components uh like engines like uh, these mechanical parts uh, these structural parts uh, so other than that and the weapons other than that uh, mostly it is tiles part so you have to go tile specific uh, area so you can you can access all those various item because these bars are actually not uh, available in your in your in your outpost so you have to move uh, you have to move and go to neon city and then you go to um, uh, the tiles shipyard or uh, not shipyard actually there is tiles showroom and then you can purchase those item uh, so mainly it is a very compact build uh although we are going to use a lot of power you can easily see it here cargo is 4780 so around 5000 cargo decent enough shields 1600 crew capacity 88 jump range 30 mobility 100 top speed 130 and mass is 3685 so it is obviously quite capable ship in that regard it is not a very high end ship but it is quite um, quite capable ship you can use it or you can modify it slightly and use it um, in your as your in game ship also so slightly different from our normal build we, where we normally focus on aesthetic or the purposes this is mainly tiles looking ship build so that's the main thing So first uh, let's start the building uh, so we're going to do it like that we are using this 2 by 2 bottom part uh, bottom part and this is a passenger slot uh, so sorry passenger the all all in one berth so it has two passenger slot or three passenger slot and then tow station it says a three crew station uh put it top and put it down so that is our main hub setup so obviously you need to use a ladder to access the floor but it is quite easy it is only one ladder nothing else and we are going to attach this uh, bridge here in the down down part or the bottom part and we place this nova crawler on the top part this is a nova galactic part structural part so that's the that the view right here now tiles engine front uh, and braking engine so it actually looks like this now we're going to add a couple more items here and there but before that we are going to arrange this landing bay because the landing bay obviously important because it is uh, important because it's also need to be correct uh, properly because uh, other than that if you don't correct uh, properly place it properly then you had a problem with your errors so place it beforehand so that's that and we are going to use the demos part this demos um, do docker is very good because it can be switch upward and downward so it is quite good uh, so let's use that now we're going to use this part this structure this landing gear tiles landing gear now we're going to use this 
place it like that we use this tank only because we can mount uh, in the engine here place it like that these tires tires uh, crawler uh, tires crawling uh, the four, four top quite easily and now we're going to use uh, use the uh, So those those are the uh, those are the cargo hold. So these two cargo hold capacity of 1200 and those are 720. So this is a slightly slightly less cap capable cargo shield. So the cargo hold place placed here like that. So it's quite. Uh, capable cargo so, um, around 5000 cargo without taking a lot of space and lot of weight now what we're going to do we place the equipment plate here because we're going to place uh, our weapons here at the top and the top weapon would be these uh, CE 59 missile launcher those are pretty good and those are very nice looking actually so you can place it here like that now we're going to place the place this structure this is the engine presser shroud engine presser we we'll place it like that and we're going to attach the landing gear pinpoint 4g landing gear it is quite nicely attached with the with the engine pressure so we're going to place it like that and here like that and we place two tires nose cap like that so it actually looks quite nice in, in this this side from any angle it actually looks quite nice you can attach more pressures if you want but i don't prefer it it is quite enough and now we're going to place the engine the engine is uh, engine is slightly special because um, this particular engine obviously it is a class c engine where its max power is two to so you can use six engine obviously the thrust capacity and maneuverable thrust is is much lower but overall it hauling capacity is much higher so you can easily take these around mass, uh, this around mass, and uh, also gain the mobility of 100 percent, 100. So it's quite nice. Place it like that and place it like that. Sorry. Those are quite capable engine and we need to put two another two landing gear here like that. This is just making our space.
now these uh, tire spot these uh, weapons socket you can place it here like that and from this part you place it like that you can attach engine also but I'm not going to do it right now the here goes this uh, shield it's quite capable shape uh, quite capable shield and now we need some landing gear and some uh, we mainly need landing gear so that's that now we place it here like that and the back portion here the front portion the back portion so the all the landing gears has been attached now we're going to use these particular demo demos belly part to cover it like that so actually it looks quite nice from backside Now this one, uh, this rocket launcher, place it here like that and then three, uh, three auto gauss gun, auto gauss gun only need three, uh, three weapon uh, to complete the 12th, uh, okay. So the required power is four. So you only need three, three auto gun, uh, three gauss gun. And now we are going to use these horizontal weapon mount like that. It is a EI weapon so it can also um, disable any vehicle for you so it is quite nice and if you don't wish to engage in battle you can uh, stop alerting any power on it you can just destroy those ship and uh, get the loot but if you wish to um, uh, capture a ship or and then uh, attack it uh, you can use the um, EM blaster or EM weapons it's quite convenient so that is a ship uh, it's quite quite sh a small form factor it doesn't it doesn't look big doesn't uh, look intimidating uh, intimidating tung tang tu tung tang tang tu tung tung ting pu tung pang pung pang pang so it is quite small uh, shape it is uh, and quite capable also it is tires built so uh, it is tires built so it is obviously slightly roundish and all those uh, shape design we get we normally get from tires so i am trying to incorporate all those design uh, aspect like these side this side is mostly uh, wings uh, but uh, I use it as a landing gear part and and an engine part so I use that uh, design to actually improve my improve my uh, capacity the engine capacity and the landing gear um, provision so it has a quite quite a number of landing gears and all that 
other than that this build can be also transfer you can you can easily transfer it like that from here to here it can be also done it is very easily changeable and if you don't wish to make it like that you can just attach it with here and then uh, use more equipment part to build other other places to build like here I can go okay one second I can go I can attach weapon here so don't worry you had still a lot of a uh, lot of place to attach weapon so do, you don't need to uh, attach weapon like that but I use it uh, to make it slightly different so that's that's the build actually it's quite easy build quite capable build and quite small actually length and breadth wise breadth wise slightly bigger but length wise it's quite small ship it's quite capable ship and if you like the video uh, please hit the like button and do subscribe if you uh, if you like our other videos also and if you don't like please tell us in comments what you wish to see and what kind of build you want to watch we can build that for you uh, thank you very much see you next time